I'm glazing the first of the batch of pre-orders for the Valentine's mug for this year, which is called Spectacular, and is a pink and purple uh, speckled glaze. Well, pink glaze with white and purple speckles, rather. So that's what it will look like when it's fired. And same glaze inside. Now I use uh, a slightly more dilute pouring one because you don't want the glaze to be too thick on the inside. Doesn't matter quite so much with this glaze, but um, I've also had a bit more than anything. So pour some glaze in, give it a couple of seconds, and pour out. Don't really want any drip runs down the outside because this is quite a static glaze. And then I use the car dent puller to dip and shake it off. Got a whole video on the car dent puller if you're wondering. I'll link it in the comments as well as a link to the car dent puller I use because some don't seem to do it as well as this one does. Um, and as you can see there, there are fragments of a scented glaze within this glaze, which is what gives it the speckled colour. And I'll link to the video where I explain that process as well. But um, that is all I'm doing with these, and I have probably another 50 to go. I'm doing them um, in smaller batches just because I could do them all at once and fire them all at once. But um, by doing kind of 10, 15 in the firing, um, I protect myself slightly against making any mistakes with anything. So if, for example, somehow I had contaminated this batch of glaze or ruined the firing or something, it's not the entire run that's gone wrong. I don't mind redoing a kiln load, I don't want to redo everything. <sighs> yeah, that's the entire glazing process. It's quite easy to get on a roll with these. Really the tricky part is getting them off the car dent puller without scuffing the glaze. And hopefully you kind of saw it there, but what I do is turn it over so that it's stuck and then I will support, because I've got that little band of wax resist there, support either side of it and release from the car dent puller like that. So now I've got it held quite awkwardly, but um, you can then place that lip on the edge of the table and slide it off and that way you don't touch the glazed part at all because um, this is going on quite thick and will remain wet to the touch for a few minutes afterwards so it's quite important not to touch it. <laughs> 